thank god i checked it and it's actually better in the sense that instead of the voice just moving around it's going directly into the video so it's better at least for a start it's a development praise to god because before i was really using phone there was nothing like using any kind of earpiece or headset so it's better so i believe that with time god will develop it more praise god so before we continue we have to pray Heavenly Father, thank you for yesterday's video. Thank you, Lord, because you are making it possible again to make another video today. Thank you, Lord, for the message of yesterday that you have used and this the one of today that you're going to use. All the glory to you, Lord, in Jesus. And Father, Lord, as we come before your presence today to speak your words to your people, Father, I want you to use me. If there's anything in my life that will Stand as injured, Father, come and forgive me. Almighty Father, I want to be used by you. I want to be useful for you. Please make me useful. Make me a useful vessel to honor fit for the master's use in the name of Jesus. Father, I want you to put your words in my mouth. Father, I don't want to speak words of my own. Please come and help me. Most high God, please help me. Please, anything in my life that will stand as hindrance, use the blood of Jesus to wash them in. Almighty Father, please speak your words today. Father Lord, please speak your words. Please speak through me. Please help me. Father Lord, I, I want to deliver your message. Please use me. Father, please use me. Father, please use me. Please, I want to be controlled by you. I want to be led by you. You said, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. Please, I want to be led by it. Please help me today. Please use this message for people. Let them run away from the danger that she wants to warn us against today. Help us to run away from it. There are a lot of young men out there that are getting destroyed. They are losing values, losing, getting emptied every day. But the Bible says that the work of sin has started, but because the Holy Spirit is still on the head, it can't take control totally. That is the reason why we still have the message still going around. Even though the work of darkness, the work of sin is progressing. Father Lord, and that is why I'm praying to the Lord. Please have the word that's going to come out today. Father Lord, let it be able to pull some people away from the danger in Jesus' name. Please go and invite people to come and watch it. And after I've even done the video, I will be sharing it in some social media platforms and even here. Father Lord, I pray. I pray, oh Lord that you will make people to share it with those that really need it in Jesus name. Father, I pray that by yourself, you will share it to them and you will let them run from the danger ahead in Jesus name. And help us know that we ourselves that are preaching your word will not become a cast out before you in Jesus name. Thank you for your prayer. Father, that everything I'm going to say today, let it be a blessing to everyone that is going to listen to it. Jesus name of prayer for you. <sighs> yeah, we thank God. So the Bible yesterday while I was doing my video I was doing um I got this message
Oh, Zora, when this Bible passage came to my mind, but <laughs> I couldn't talk about it, or maybe I talked so much that there was no chance to even talk about it, so. So, today God has placed on my mind that I should do it again. That is Proverbs chapter 7 from verse 1 to... 27. God bless the day that I'm, I I knew about this passage. <laughs> I can't remember what I was even looking for in the Bible. The day I saw this Bible passage. And since that time, I've been using it to preach. Yeah, I'm a preacher. Hello. <laughs> I've been using it to preach. Anyway, I get to and there's a chance to talk about warning young men I wish you this passage Proverbs chapter 7 from the first verse to the last verse which is verse 27 really I before I was always talking to young girls trying to advise them or you don't have to um, give yourself to men you have to stand for yourself you need to know what you are what you're made of and then stop messing around with men you are more than what a man says you are you are you you are perfect you are, you're great but recently just seems as if the ministry is changing. <laughs> maybe it's changing or maybe it's hardening <laughs> to men. So men you are very lucky at this time. God didn't God is not leaving the side of women, but God also wants to talk to men. I believe I'm a messenger of God. So so don't even try to tell me that what do you mean by God is telling you not that message for you? Yeah, that is it. God has message for you because God is choosing me at this time and I'm grateful to God for that opportunity. So God wants to talk to men at this time because God has seen the work of darkness walking in their lives to destroy them. Some of them don't even know. Well, let me say majority of them don't know they think some people think it's normal you see there's one thing I noticed because I've had a chance of meeting very young men you know at a particular age you notice they are so innocent they are they have the best beauty you understand their skin is so clean and at another stage when they start doing things of that are sinful, you start seeing them looking empty, looking disfigured, you understand maybe they're smoking or going into sexual immorality, all those kind of things and you just start wondering why? Why do people have to always go through this path do you understand definitely there is a path that you can trade that the same this thing is i don't know what they call it this mirror kind of thing definitely there's a path you can trade that you can still maintain that cleanliness that you have been maintaining from your youth from your childhood, even while you are in adulthood, you are still in that beauty of the cleanliness. It's possible. Sin destroys. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. A lot of people, when they read that Bible passage, and they feel like, oh, at least I'm still alive. <laughs> Yes, you're still alive, but some things have been lost. I said yesterday about Esau that the day he ate that food, 
and exchange it for his birthright. That was not the day he suffered for it. That was not the day he cried for it. Of course, that day it looked like, oh, I'm enjoying myself. Oh, this is fun. Oh, now I won't have to die. I'm missing. And he exchanged it. That is the same way you feel when you go into sexual immorality. You feel, oh, I'm on top of the world. Oh, some people will even ail you. Maybe you're among some guys that are your friends. will be like, oh, guy, you're a big man. You're this. So oh, you're a big man now. No, you're not a big man. You have lost. You understand? The person that will do you, I mean, the person that has lost something also wants you to come and do the same thing. It's the same with girls too, but today or maybe for some time now, God wants to speak to men. You understand? Because they have lost something. It is women that once you lose your virginity, it becomes very obvious, of course. But for men, it's not obvious physically, but emotionally, mentally, spiritually, it's obvious. You have lost something, something tangible, something great. You have lost your divine destiny. God is merciful, yes. God is merciful, but you will definitely reap the reward. You will definitely go through the punishment. Then after that, you will have mercy. That is even if you don't continue in the sin. Some people will continue and continue and continue. God is merciful. Forget about it. God is merciful. Or oh, let me say. <laughs> Don't forget about it. Like God is merciful. He's merciful. He can do everything, but you have to come with a repentant heart, and you have to leave that part of doing those things. I think God is really, really directing this message to men these days because nowadays there are a lot of sexual immorality everywhere. You go to social media naked girls are there. Let me tell you, many of these naked girls, they are demonic. If you have a destiny to protect, you have to protect it with all diligence, with all strength and power in you. Many of them, they are demonic. You go to Instagram, they are almost half naked. They are demonic. My friend of last year, I was talking about in my video yesterday that I was thinking God was going to use him to replace the first guy. I don't want to talk about this today. God, I'm really, really trying not to talk about this today. Okay, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Okay, I can't even remember what I want to say. <laughs> okay, that's better. That's good. So, I don't want to talk about it today because I know I'm just going to start going off points. Off points. So, yeah, so the message is Proverbs chapter. Okay, what I wanted to say about him is that I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> when I remember, I'll say it, but I don't want to go off point today. So, we are reading from verse 1. Verse 1. Proverbs chapter 7, my son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. True, keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine high. 3. Bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. 4. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. 5. That they may keep thee from the strange woman. From the stranger which flattereth with her words. You see, anytime you, you are hearing the word of God, it is it is like this type of videos of like some of my posts online, they are the word of God because I'm actually telling you what God is saying. You understand? Bind them upon their fingers say that they may keep you from the strange woman. This words, if you keep it in your heart, it will keep you from the strange woman. 
from the stranger which flattereth with her words. Nowadays, it's not only men that try to approach women for sex or sexual immorality. Some women are doing it too. We have some boss in the office. They will tell you, oh, oh I, I like you, something like that. They might even be married. And they tell you, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. My brother, there is a lot of things wrong with it. So that is the part of that flash rate with her wet. Six, for at the window of my house, I looked through my kismet. As, as uh, Solomon, the person that wrote this proverb, was using this Bible passage to encourage youth in his day, the Lord is also using me today to read the same Bible passage to every young man at the that you should be careful this is sharing experience of an elderly person through the wisdom of God and behold and beheld among the simple ones had discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding hmm. it passing through the city, street <coughs> near a corner and he went the way to a house that is the way to the house of that strange woman, that demonic woman. You see that the message of yesterday is still interwoven into today's message. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and the dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an alert and subtle of hearts. What it is telling you is that all those naked girls that are making you unnecessarily, giving you unnecessary sexual hold, you don't need it. They are the ones dressing like harlots. A lot of people, are, I've seen someone commenting say, oh, your dressing doesn't determine whether you are saved or not. You can dress anyhow, you can dress but make scarcely is for yourself, it's not for people around you. Then I told him, if you are truly saved, your the Holy Spirit within you will not allow you to dress in a promiscuous way. There's no way you can be a child of God, being led by the Spirit of God, and the Spirit of God will allow you to 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 show yourself like someone without the Spirit of God. There are two things that don't agree. A child of God and a child of the devil, they are very different. They are apart. Some people say the world is entering the church, but the truth is, the world and the church can never mix. The same way water and oil cannot mix. That is the same way the world and the church cannot mix. If just, yeah, some people are telling that the world is mixing with the church, it's not possible. The world is separate, the church is separate. That is why the Bible talks about the church and the church. A lot of people are claiming they are in the church, but are you a church yourself? The building is there, then there is church. The Bible says the gate of hell shall not prevail against the church of God. It's not talking about the building, it's talking about the church of God. Those that are saved, that are redeemed. That is to tell you that he that is born of God does not commit sin and he cannot sin because he's born of God. When you are saved, you have you are given the power to go and sin no more. So there is nothing like the church mixing with the world. It is not possible. They can't mix. It is either you are a church or you are do you are of the world. So when you are sinning and you call yourself a church goer, then you are definitely not a church in the church. You are just a sinner and you're worldly that's just who you are you can't mix it together you can't mix it together it can't mix <laughs> it can't mix no Nisha <laughs> so that is it and behold they met him a woman with the attire of an alert and the subtle of heart eleven she is loud and stubborn her feet abide not in her house now is she without, now in the streets. 
and lighting wait at every corner <laughs> that is to tell you they're everywhere you go to facebook they're there you go to twitter they're there youtube they're there instagram they're there yeah what i wanted to say about that my friend was that you see this naked girls on this that's what it's always checking on instagram and it's one of the reasons why i was always praying for him that's called the saving even if we don't marry or God doesn't say he's my husband, I won't go to save him. I don't know the dangers those things is watching would have cost it to his soul and his life. You understand? I don't know how much it would have cost. But yet, he said, the light in at every corner, wherever you get to that thing. And I don't know how uh, men are wired, but at least I can guess to some extent that they, they are more attracted to a woman's body than a woman. My woman is attracted to a man's body. <laughs> let, me, let me just give you this illustration. I noticed that nobody had a cool man's house like that shouts not as see if you take me like i go to man's house anyhow i, I noticed that men are maybe it's maybe it's, it's a way of life i don't know i've been to some guys house they just very skimpy boxers and without anything on top and sometimes even they are put to be showing <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what I'm just trying to say is that I don't feel attracted. I don't know if other girls are attracted, I don't know, but I I don't feel attracted. And something just comes to my mind that if it's a girl that is dressing this way, this man will never be comfortable like I'm comfortable. You understand? You get what I'm trying to say. So what I'm just trying to say is that I think men are like it goes deep into their brain, into their system. Like I don't know how they really feel about it, but what I think is that they don't react to it the same way a woman reacts to when a man is naked. You understand? Or maybe I am just gifted to be different. <laughs> I don't know. You understand? Know, maybe other men to uh, carry the way it is. I don't know, but I think women don't get attracted to it. I think the way a woman can start feeling it is maybe during touching, but just looking doesn't do anything to women. I I think I think I think I don't know, but I think so said it's everywhere lights in wait wait at every corner so when you see those girls dressing promiscuously almost naked trying to do videos during trekking or whatever they're not just doing it they're demonic I can say it with my whole mouth that these girls are demonic they're not ordinary you might even know one of them close to you but let me tell you they are demonic no true child of god that wants the best for you that wants you to fulfill your divine destiny will do that i remember i'm really really trying not to talk about myself or my friends or my guy or my guys <laughs> but i think to some extent i have to talk about it when we were in that situation i don't know what got him so in the mood to be with me or something like to feel the whole i don't know i don't know maybe touching i don't know maybe thinking i don't know i don't know maybe thinking i'm sure it should have been thinking of course i was holding in because 
Yeah, I was holding him. Not touching him romantically, no. Or seductively, no. Because I... I... I'm a child of God. <laughs> you understand? So... Just friendly. Friendly touch, you understand? Like, just holding maybe him. Just normal, casual, you understand? So I don't know maybe it was touching, maybe it was thinking, but what I think is it should have been the thinking. And uh, it goes to the point and said, um, and he asked for something like that. And I said, You see, you are a man of great destiny, and I want you to achieve your great destiny. I don't want to be an hindrance in you fulfilling your great destiny. And if if you won't remember anything in this life, I think you should remember that. <laughs> Seriously, or maybe it doesn't remember, but for me, I remember it. And uh, if I were to be a guy, and Somebody says that kind of godly message to me, hello, then that is a deep definition of true love. Sincerely, I'm talking like a girl now because I'm not a man. <laughs> that song says if I were a man, and the other person says, but you are not a man, so you can't even think like a man, so I can't think like a man, but the way I say it is that I was seeing it out of true love. I wasn't after his body, I wasn't after his destiny, I wasn't after taking what God wants him to become in life away from him. But some women, that is what they are after. You, you, you as a guy, you're meeting with a woman, you're having sex with her, you're making her to abort for you, you're making her to get pregnant, that's why you're with love. You think you're destroying the girl. No, you're destroying yourself. In short, she is the one destroying you. You are not innocent yourself. Fine. Maybe when she wants to get married, she might meet a man. She might, she will still meet the punishment one way or the other. Maybe she has destroyed her womb, or maybe she's trying to hide some things from the man. And the man says, Oh, I don't want the woman that has aborted, something like that. But in the real sense, she destroyed you. You didn't destroy her. You think you destroyed her, but the real truth is that she destroyed you. Because I can actually say this. From my own experience, I told this guy I wanted to achieve a God given dreams and goals in life. And I have seen us together in the dream many times doing things together. Maybe it's because of what I said that day. Maybe, maybe, maybe because God sees my heart and I really, really want this guy to be great. Maybe that is why I see things like that. Sometimes I see him is trying to do something, no one is helping him. Just please so don't be vexing. No more. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Sorry, sorry about that. You understand? And um, I don't know. I don't know what is actually making me to have such dreams. I don't know. Maybe it's for the future. But definitely I know that I have true love for him in the sense that I see beyond the, f the present and look forward to the future about him. When he said, do you love me? said yes I love you and I love you so much and because I love you so much I want you to fulfill your destiny that is love but this woman the Bible is talking about here they are after your destiny they are the Delilahs of nowadays they are the Potiphar's wife of nowadays 
that the Jezebel children of Nardis. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace of friends with me. This day have I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. <laughs> I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. I have performed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. <laughs> They will call it love for you. Many people say, oh, do you love me? This is love. This is true. It is not love. It's just that recently I've not been going on um, Instagram to watch pictures and videos with the spirit of, I mean, with the mind of picking whether it is love or not love. Recently, I've not been doing it. But sometimes ago, I was really doing it and I pick it i pick this whether it is love or not love i pick it from these pictures you understand i pick the how do i put it is it the emotions or the reflection or the energy coming from these pictures that anyone around may not see that most people may not see Except someone who is listening to the spirit of God or someone who doesn't just dwell on the physical. You understand? So, yeah, the woman is trying to say sweet things. You know those things that this man will want to hear. That place he said he has paid her vows. Probably she was not in a period, like menstrual period. You understand? So she has paid her vows. So, Maybe that's what it means. A lot of men want to invite a girl. Can you come to my house? And girls say that my period. They will start vexing. They start. Can you come? Hello, you're not married to this girl. You should even be grateful to God that God is saving you. That is another opportunity for you to run for your life. But you want to wait for the day that she has paid her vows. So that you can lose your destiny, so that you can lose a great ambition, great dreams in life, great goals. A lot of people lose their goals, they lose their godly assignments. It's not as if they will, they will suddenly stop seeing themselves wanting to do something great, they'll just find themselves doing something lower. But they won't even think. You see, one thing I have realized about this life is that sometimes this is how far you can see. Let's say this is how far you can see at this point. But in God's in God's plan for you, it's actually taking you farther than that. It's taking you this way. But at this point, this is what you can see. Once you go into sexual immorality, from here to here, you can't see it anymore. So, in your own mind, you are thinking, Oh, I am a, I am an achiever. I have gotten to where God wanted me to be. But that is not it. That is not it. That is not it. I notice something about myself that anytime I do something, I am grateful to God. God, thank you, I have achieved this. I will start seeing another thing. But when you go into sexual immorality or anything, you will stop seeing farther than what you should be seeing. You should not start struggling to even get to this point. So when you get to this point, you think you are you are an achiever, but that is not it. You are not an achiever yet. Let me use another example. Very, very good example all what was on the mind of Joseph when he was in the house of Potiphar was for him to just become a free man he never for once thought that 
he could become a prime minister in Egypt. God didn't show it to him. God only showed him that he was going to be more successful than his brothers and they're going to bow down to him. But he didn't know. Maybe his thought was, oh, once I become a free man, he will be able to do things freely in Egypt. That is even if he's thinking about Egypt. He will be able to do things freely in Egypt. Then probably he will be able to go back to his father. He was to he was was um, well loved by his father. So probably he was thought, oh, I will go back to my father. I will start business. I will do this. He will just be thinking. But look at what God did for him. God took him farther than what his high school would have said. Many times you have not seen where you are even going yet. There's no reason why you have to say, Oh, I'm satisfied here now. So now, I can start doing things contrary against the will of God. There is nothing like that. God wants you continually to continue to be on the side of God. If God has brought you far by His grace, He still wants to take you farther by His grace. So don't leave God out of your life at any stage of your life. Let's take, for example, the boy has been a very good boy from secondary school and when he got to the university I've, I know of a lot of guys that were decent before they got into the university when they got into the university they started sleeping around with girls the grace of God that took you through secondary school did he tell you that he won't keep you throughout the university of course that is not true we will still keep him i want to really thank god for my life because for me <laughs> at every stage of my life i'm always like god thank you for seeing me through this stage but when god takes me to another stage i will still notice that god i still need you again no <laughs> i still need you again no that is to tell you that there is no stage of your life that you have to let God out of your life. You have to continue allowing God to be your God. This God will always be my God. That is what the Bible passage says. You understand? Let's continue that Bible passage we are reading. So he said, for the good man is not at all. He's gone a long journey. She's using sweet, sweet, sweet mouth. Yeah, I told you about when she said, Come, let us take our fill of love onto the moon. Let us release ourselves with love. It's not love. It is. Come, let me take what you have. It's just a pleasure of. I think the play of sexual sex or anything doesn't last. It can't last you for medically now, not. <laughs> it can't last you more than five minutes. I think, I think, I don't know. <laughs> I think it can't last you more than five minutes. Let's say the climax or whatever, anything, the college, I don't know. The joy, the affection. So, because of five minutes, something, you are losing something of eternal. No, it doesn't speak well. So she's going to tell you it is love, but it is not love. I don't want to talk to the women presently because I don't feel led to them at the moment <laughs> because I've been talking to women for some time. So this is the time God wants me to talk to men. So, so he said, he had taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With a much first speech, she caused him to yield. With a flattering of her lips, she forced him. Hmm. 
that is to tell you sometimes it's not only the body they are using to do it they use the mouth to do it too they know how to seduce you with their mouth how to lick your hair how to hold you in very delicate areas of your body hmm. they know how to twerk for you they know how to touch your head i don't know which other things they do i don't know He goes after her straight away. Sorry, this thing must die. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he goes after her straight away as a ox goes to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dart strike through his liver, as a bird is dead to the snare. And know it knows that it is for his life. See all these things I've been explaining from the start of this reading of this Bible passage. That's what the Bible passage is saying in this verse 23. Till a dart strikes through his liver, as a bird is dead to the snare, and know it knows that it is for his life. I came unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thy heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. For she hath cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is a way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. We have finished reading it. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. So most of the things that are in this Bible passage, I've been explaining it, but I want to round it up now. Whenever you see a girl trying to seduce you, they won't. Sometimes they won't use it with the words of man, but this way they won't tell you that. Sometimes she's a very loud type of person that is going to be saying it with her mouth. He says that. The path to that house, the path to death. A lot have died in that place. Some it is physical death, some it is spiritual. Some it is the death of their great destiny, some it is the death of their great future. You can't you can't really see how big where God is taking you to. You can't see everything completely. It is stage by stage when you get to this point you notice that oh have achieved it then God gives you another thing sometimes it can give you as large as possible as much as possible but for me I noticed it in me I don't know some things I have never thought about once I achieve something the thought just comes to my mind that okay this is the next thing you have to do and I start being like God I, I I didn't know that you're going to tell me to do another thing again. You understand? Once I achieve something, another dream is coming. Maybe at another time, these videos or something, there might be a greater development for that I've never ever thought about. You see, there was a time I was thinking of, okay, let me just have uh, maybe a laptop, something to do videos or something. But the plans of God are always higher than our than our thinking can ever be. I never knew that at this time I will have a laptop to do video and we have plasma TV to listen to music at the same time. I never thought of it. But that is what God can do. He will do it, his thoughts, his plans, his thinking, his ways for you. He says, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways are not my ways. Fine. When God gives you a vision, pray about it. At this appointed time, he's going to fulfill it. The fourth Bible passage I got from that, my friend, he said, for the vision is for an appointed time. Do it. Tarries, wait for it. It will surely come. <laughs> that was the very first Bible passage I got from him. I never knew about that Bible passage before he said it. 
and it has helped me and I'm using it again at this time that whatever God has given you whatever vision he will surely fulfill it he will surely do it can you just imagine doing video on computer is a dream come true seriously I've always been I used to use phone for many many months this is a dream come true like dream come true do you know how long I have prayed do you know how long I've waited do you know like really 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 seriously but it is God's way oh that's all his way is God's way not yours or mine and is it his great when his fall is lit he's still on time my God is great when his fall is lit he's still on time friend he's still on time God's way and not our ways but his way is God's ways not yours or mine and isn't it great when he's for the place he's still on time my god is great when he's for the place he's still on time friend he's still on time what i just want to use that song to encourage us is that Whatever promise God has given you, He has an appointed time for it. He will do it at His appointed time. We as human, it's normal for us to panic. Oh my God, I means they get married. Oh, they have children. Oh, they have given birth to all their kids. Oh, when am I going to get married? Oh, my mates are already having work. They will. Do you know what God is planning for you? Like, sometimes. I have noticed it by myself. Whenever I'm praying about something and it's not forthcoming, by the time God eventually answers that prayer, He doesn't just answer that one prayer. He answers it in bulk. He answers some 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 of the I don't know pack of prayers together at the same time, and you just be like God. Thank you so much. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. So there is no prayer that is that is for waste. Or how do I put it? There is no prayer that is wasted or that God doesn't listen to. God is listening to every prayer. And if we answer every prayer, He will answer every prayer. This is promise and His word. He has never failed, not changed. Glory to His name. He will answer every prayer. When you pray, continue praying, continue trusting. But my advice to you today is continue to be on the side of God. Don't look at any time in your life like, Oh, I have achieved. Oh, now I'm on top of the world. Now I can do like I like. There is no time that you can do like you like because you can't predict where God is still taking you to. So if you stop doing the will of God now, you are just cutting short the greatness of God for your life. There is no time you have to you are you can say oh I have reached the last bus stop. No, you have not reached the last bus stop. There is still somewhere else you have to go. There's something on my mind right now. I don't know if I should say it right now. <laughs> I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Okay, let me put it this way. Do I want to say it? Okay, let me just put it this way. There's someone that I, I dreamt about sometimes. He's an engineer in Nigeria. 
آدم سیستاری انجینری انجینری I don't know if he has ever thought about it in his life, but I, that is what I saw in my dream. To him, in Nigeria now, probably he's thinking, oh, I'm an engineer, I'm an engineer. But God still wants him to study aeronautic engineering. Of course, the engineering you will be doing in Nigeria and the one you will be doing as an aeronautic engineer in um, a foreign country that is well developed it's not the same thing my brothers and sisters and let me say my brothers because I'm addressing the brothers now it's not the same thing but to you you thought oh I'm now an achiever oh I graduated oh I have work oh I but God is saying I wanted to still be an aeronautic engineer maybe he has already thought oh I have achieved everything in Nigeria oh that's all, that's all. Can you see? That's just an example to tell you that don't by yourself cut it off. Don't by yourself cut everything off and say, oh, this is how far God wants you to go. No, who told you this is how far? God can take you as far as your mind can ever think of. God can take you farther, farther than that. His wisdom is higher than our wisdom. It's just that sometimes he tries to give us a glimpse of it, like just a little of it, not the broad vision. And so you start be like, God, this thing make it to be, make it to happen, make it to happen. But before you get there, he will do some other miracles along the way. If you do some other miracles, and when he gets you there, he gives you another vision again. He won't stop. He won't stop because you will not stop seeing from God because you are on the side of God. He said the secret of the Lord is with those are fearing. Definitely, if God wants to do anything first, he will tell you. He said the secret of the Lord is with those are fearing. So my conclusion today is that please be careful of this woman. Solomon is warning us against in this Bible passage. Be careful of it. Ah, she's heavy. He says she lies in every corner. Sometimes you want to search something on your internet. You see her there. She's there. That is the woman. Go and mark this Bible passage in your Bible. Or mark it in your phone if you don't have a Bible. trying to remember something. Remember that I had the Bible once. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll check the other one. Okay. Because I, I was like, I think I had the Bible. <laughs> okay, now I remember. Thank God for, them, for, for making me to remember. Praise God. So that's it. So, mark it. And anytime you see such women, remember what he said. He said, Keep the word of God in your heart. Maybe it is this message you are hearing today. Keep it in your heart so that when you, you see that woman, you run. Okay? When you see that woman, you run. And as you run, the grace of God will be sufficient for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone that has watched this video. I saw someone online, but the person is not online anymore. So I know a lot of people will still watch this video and I pray that it's going to be a blessing. I'm so happy I didn't talk off points today. <laughs> so I'm grateful to God for helping me to this video. Let's pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for today's video. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of me. Thank you for the development. Thank you for God's promises and ye are ye and him. When you promise something, you always do it. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, because you're great. Oh, Lord, I pray. That guy that you showed me that 
he wanted to study in music engineering and he's thinking oh now I'm <laughs> I don't want to mention the engineering he did. Now I'm um I am an engineer in Nigeria and he just felt that is all where God wants him to be. Father please, I don't know how you want to do it. Because I, I can't even talk to him, but I want you to go and talk to him. I don't know. I don't even know what to pray. But I wish, Lord, that you help him to be able to fulfill this destiny. If there is anything he's doing right now, that is not making him to see it. Father, please forgive him and help him. And I pray for as many that you have deposited great and greater things in their lives. But because of own sexual immorality or the other, they have cut it short by their ways of life. And I pray that you, the Lord God of second chance, will grant them a second chance, Lord. You forgive, you are merciful, God, Lord. Please, the punishment they have suffered is enough. Please forgive them, connect them with the person that will open their eyes to see. To see the right way you want them to go and give them the grace to be able to fulfill their greater destiny in Jesus' name. I pray for as many men that will want to repent. Father, please, the grace to repent. Give it to them. The grace to say no when this evil locking, evil women locking around the streets. When they see them and to see no one put their hair, hands in their hands and shout, start shouting, life, life, like that story of Christian in Pilgrim Progress that held his hair and uh, put his hand in his ears and started shouting, life, life, even when everything around them was trying to pull him back from walking in the way of life. He ran and he was saved. Please help this your sons in the name of Jesus. Please God, I want you to put the work of darkness into bondage over their lives in Jesus' name. Help them to fulfill their God-given desires and ambitions in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for today's video. I am grateful. I am happy at the same time I'm grateful. This will be the only name in Jesus' name. Father, go and share this video to as many as possible that want to hear from you. In Jesus' name, bring people to this light. You said men will come to your light. Kings will come to your life. How are the kings and queens and princes that will come to the light of this, my videos and start watching it and start protecting their destinies from destruction of these evil women, Father Lord, bring them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your prayer. Glory be to your name. Praise be the name forever and ever. Jesus' name of prayer. We go to sleep now, Father, protect us throughout the night. All those things we are praying to you for that you are saying, God, please do it, please do it, and you have promised that you will do it. He has promised he will never fail because I promised keeper you don't fail but I pray that you do them for us in Jesus name. You give us the grace to wait on you Lord and to perfect it as your own right time in Jesus name. Hands of prayers. Give us a wonderful weekend. And then of this before we take us to heaven and heaven. Let us to support that we have decided that God if we want to stay with you please don't let the devil take us away from you in Jesus name don't let us start singing against you don't let us start but you can change to feel no more in your domain to pray we lost your no in Shanua oh Lord don't let us go away from you in Jesus name I don't know this if you want to cause you a little bit of that do miracles in your life this weekend. Put the work of darkness, the work of the world. Put it to your hold and stop 